and welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com so in today's shotgun tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to use timeline markers and so i have a marker here marker here and marker here and so this is a very welcome feature especially if you are working on more complex projects where you're trying to keep track of things or maybe you wanted to do other things like only export a certain part of your video. So let's go ahead and get into timeline markers in Shotcut. Okay, so before I get into the whole timeline marker tutorial, let me show you the version of Shotcut that I'm using. So at the time of this video, I'm currently using Shotcut version 21.10.31. So if you are using a version older than this, then you won't have this feature. And obviously if you are using this version or newer then you will have this feature so that's first and foremost so adding a marker is fairly simple so if you go down here to your project timeline you see a new feature marker and you can add a marker by simply clicking on this wherever your playhead is at or you could just use the shortcut key m so we'll go ahead and add a marker right here so there is a marker and as you see there and once you add a marker it'll say hold the control down to actually select a range and I'm actually going to show you how to do that later so I'm going to add multiple markers so I'll add one here as well and then I'll add one here as well so we'll come back to these in a little bit so the first thing you notice is once you put your mouse over it you'll notice that there is a marker name so the default is marker one marker two and so forth so whenever you add a marker it'll actually add a number to it now, if you actually go to this marker, make sure your cursor is above it and you see the name come up, you could right click on your mouse and then go to edit. So this is where you have some customizations. And so the first thing you could do is actually name your marker. And so I think it's really important for you to put a name that actually is descriptive of what you want to do. So let's just say this is a start. So just start the marker. And you could also put other things as well. Say, for example, at this marker, you wanted to add music, okay? So I'll put intro music, even though I'm not actually going to do this. This is just some real world benefits of using markers. So you could add notes in here. You could add descriptions or you could just add like maybe a points of your video. So in this case, this is the start of my video. And then the other markers are going to name it middle and then end. And also you could actually choose different colors. So I'm going to choose this color right here. And all of these things really help show you, you know, what you wanted to do at that point in the video. Now, the other thing you do is you could actually set ranges, okay? So if we go back to this marker, you could either do it right here uh, by the numbers, by start and end range, or if you have your mouse over this or your cursor, you could drag this out, okay? So once you have this selected, you kind of have to be careful. You have to have your mouse directly over it, and then you're gonna go ahead and hold down the control key, okay? So that way you could drag it. So either at the beginning, or the end and now you have a range of where you want your marker to be and so those are like the main things that you could do but once again in order to set a range you actually have to have your mouse over it then you have to hold down the control key and it's very important that you're very precise with this okay so if you have it in the middle and you hold down control it might not actually pull it the way you want so make sure you have it either at the end or at the beginning so that you could drag it the right way okay so i just want to put that out there if you love reading books then check out audible which has the largest selection of audiobooks anywhere on the internet sign up today and get a 30-day free trial for more information check out the affiliate link in the description area below so i'm going to go ahead and rename this and i'm going to keep it really simple so we'll go ahead middle we'll name put a color here Say OK, and then I'll put one final one here, and we'll name it N. And then we'll choose a color here. And I'll also put a slight range here. And so what are the actual benefits of using a marker? Well, the benefits are you could actually visually put like markers on things that you want to do in your project timeline. So whether you are planning on something or maybe you've already done something and you actually want to mark that spot, that's really the main reasons. And it becomes even more important if you have more complex projects. And then another really great thing that you could do with these timeline markers is you could actually export only this section of the marker, which is really nice. 
So let me show you how that works. So say for example, you have all your markers, you have it the way you want, but the thing is, you don't want to export everything in your project. You only want to export a certain marker. So if you go here to export, or you could come up here to export, and then you go to export help, from this, the default is timeline, but if you choose the drop down here you could see you could choose the actual marker that you want to export, which is really nice. So say for example, I just want to export the marker of the start marker. I'll do that. And then you go ahead and export file and put it wherever you want. So I'm just going to call this start marker. Okay. Then we'll export that. And then the export is going. And once it's done, you'll only get this portion of the marker, which is really nice because it does give you some flexibility on which section of your videos that you actually want to export. And if I actually go here and look at it, uh, there's my start marker video. And there it is, you know, it just shows that particular part of the video. And then another thing that you know, having markers allows you to do is you could also move these markers as well. And so say, for example, you didn't like it at this point, just simply move it around. That's all you have to do. So it allows you some flexibility there. And also, if you click on the marker itself, uh, it now goes directly to the marker instead of your playhead. So you could simply just scan that portion of the marker. So that's another thing that it allows you to do. So whenever you click on a marker, your playhead goes right there at the beginning or at the end of the marker. Now, this is the first iteration of this marker. So maybe in future versions, uh, they'll have some more improvements, some things that aren't available yet, which I would like to have, which I do see in other video editors is the ability to go from one marker to another. So it'd be nice if you could just right click and then go to the markers that you want. And that's something that I really do miss having here. But the fact that we do now have project timeline markers is nice. And so hopefully in the future, we will get things like that. But overall, I think this is a very welcome feature. It does allow you to be more organized. And also at the same time, whenever you are exporting, it does give you more control of what you want to export. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you use these new project timeline markers, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share like and subscribe and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that i don't put out here publicly on my youtube channel then join my goal content creators group where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there and the best part is all of this is free simply head over to the link below check on my page and sign up for my goal content creators group